In keeping with the fourth pillar of President Bola Tinubu's renewed hope health sector renewal investment initiative, the Nigerian government has lodged two complementary strategic documents in the second national action plan on antimicrobial resistance and the Nigerian national genomic surveillance strategy. Speaking during the launch in Abuja, the coordinating minister of health and social welfare, Mohamed Pate, disclosed that the documents are essential for collective effort towards enhancing Nigeria's health security. On the danger posed by antimicrobial resistance, the minister fears that by 2050, if no action is taken, MMR could cause 10 million deaths annually, surpassing even cancer as a leading cause of mortality, adding that the economic consequences are equally dire, with projections estimating global losses of over $100 trillion. Beyond the high-level political commitment, I would like to also make two points and link to it. One is that it needs to be backed by financing because the threats of AMR are not limited within our borders in either Nigeria or on the continent. The developed world also can be exposed to the threat of antimicrobial resistance that happens here. So robust financing mechanisms, we need to be serious about it in terms of global cooperation to support countries implement their national action plans whether being very serious about things like the pandemic fund or other funding mechanisms to support countries, not only Nigeria, but other African countries and lower income countries to address it. I think it's very important that we take it seriously, given what it means for the world. The second bit is an element of the political declaration on the independent scientific panel that needs to be created so that our actions are guided by best evidence we from Nigeria, our position is that such an independent scientific panel should be hosted in the African continent. The days of us going elsewhere to receive revealed wisdom should be behind us. We should have those independent scientific uh, panels uh, hosted in the continent. And I believe there are countries in Africa and scientists that are on the ground across different sectors that can do this. So this I'm saying in relation to the high-level political declaration that we supported and the discussions are underway. And our partners that are here, I'm sure, will convey those uh, messages.